Wow, there it is, the, the, the Hollywood sign. I don't think we realized how much driving we were going to do. This one beer was $15. We're Levi and Leah, a Canadian couple living out of our Prius as we complete a trip of a lifetime. We left our apartment in the city to spend the next year circumnavigating North America. Last week we saw the Grand Canyon, slept in a Walmart parking lot, and got overwhelmed in Las Vegas. And this week we are in Los Angeles, enjoying the waves, the food, and in general, getting into the beach bum lifestyle. We're in LA! In Los Angeles! Oh, Whoa. there's an aggressive car that's wow. coming up. It's like we Wel planned it! Welcome to the city! <laughs> Hey team, welcome to LA Los Angeles, the place where holding a camera and aiming at yourself in the middle of a very public place is not weird. It's very normal. Yes. I still feel awkward though. <laughs> We're gonna go get ramen. So we got this recommendation from Raya of Raya and Louie, who are another van life couple, bus life, sorry. Um, and it's 100% vegan, everything on the menu is vegan, and apparently it is absolutely top tier. So, let's see how it goes. So I got the cold noodles, because it's very hot in here. And Levi I got the traditional ramen. Look at that. You got like the, the pork in there, you got the broth, you got everything. Oh. That was great. After two plus weeks in Nevada and Utah, it's great to come back to the coast and get some food. Not that Utah didn't have good food, but... It wasn't great food. <laughs> so we asked all of you on Instagram what we should do while we were in LA, and the observatory was one of them, but we went there and it was so ungodly busy that we oh decided not to do that and just do a similar hike around the area, which works great for us. Whenever we get to a new place, we like to get up high, either on a hike or something else, to kind of get our bearings and figure out where we are. And from here, you can just see how absolutely massive the LA area is. The sprawl is so real. From here, it is pretty much houses and city as far as you can see. Wow. Wow. There it is, the, the the Hollywood sign. Leah and I were driving around trying to find a place to park here, and we were talking about how profound of an impact the culture of LA has on Canada. Like we're driving around and you're hearing the names of things, you're like I don't know what that looks like, but I know what it is. Like I know about Pasadena and Sunset Boulevard and all these things because it just mentioned so much in our media. I think a lot of people who don't know much about Canada think that it's a different culture or a different place, and it is, but so much of what we see and hear and breathe comes from this place and from this city in particular. So tonight we're gonna spend a night sleeping in our car somewhere in LA to get the full ALA experience, and then uh, we're gonna spend some time with some friends. So that's what you do when you're in LA and you want to stay somewhere that isn't your car. <laughs> a lot of you told us to go hiking in LA and I didn't really kind of understand what you meant by that, but yeah, this is uh, this is amazing. Well, that is pretty remarkable. I know everybody in LA is probably like, yeah, we get it, but for people who don't live here, this is a this is a pretty astounding scene. Heck of a view. Holy So here is our evening meal on the Santa Monica beach. Uh, I guess you call it the boulevard. There is the pier off in the distance. Today we drove an incredible amount uh, to get to LA and then to get across LA. I don't think we realized how much driving we were going to do in this town. I mean, I knew it was gonna be bad, but. Yeah, I guess you just don't even realize how big it is. We're like, oh, we did the Hollywood sign. But okay, like the sun's like kind of going down now. Let's go out to the beach and have uh, dinner. An hour's drive. Yeah. I'm like, wow. 
So we're going to eat our dinner here on the beach and enjoy the kind of scene here and then we are going to uh, camp in the car up at a local park right nearby. So this is where we are going to be sleeping tonight. As you can see, it's a relatively busy road with a number of other overnighters uh, sleeping here as well, which is always kind of a good sign. So we found this spot and we find a lot of spots on an app called iOverlander, which a lot of you might be commonly aware of, but not all people are. One of the things we like to do is set up our bed, not where we're actually going to sleep. Yeah. So we were just down at the parking lot, we set up a bed, got it all ready, so that by the time we change it over, it's like less than two minutes, so it's a bit more stealth. In our last episode, we boondocked at a Walmart, so if you want to see more of our stealth camp, you can check out that video, but we are going to check out for the night, and we'll see you in the morning. Have a good sleep. Uh, today is... That's a hard one. Isn't it? You hit me with the one I just don't know. I mean, wait, wait, wait. I think it's, uh... <laughs> It's either Thursday or Friday. Really? Okay, this is the reality of living in the car when you're 30 years old. Oh, <laughs> I did something to my shoulder. What's that? Say it again I for them. I did something to my shoulder. It's owie. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, this was a great sleeping spot, except, yeah, apparently Leah threw out her shoulder while she was sleeping. Welcome to being 30, love. <laughs> oh, hello! So if any of you followed us before we started living in a Prius, Leah and I talked a lot about zero waste living and we have not been able to fill anything while on the road. So the first thing we had to do when we were in LA was look for a place where we could fill up. Actually, we've had all of these things since we've been in Canada, so I think this is great timing before we go to Mexico. We're gonna fill it all, ready to go. So we are going to be replacing the standard shampoo, conditioner, and our dish soap, but we have been using this scrubby for a while now, and it's actually starting to get discolored, so thankfully, they have replacements here. I think you can just pull it off and then yeah, there you go. And it just pushes that right back on there. That's awesome. So you may know that we have worked with Who Gives a Crap before. Nice to see a friendly face. Also got our leaf shave razors here as well. If you are curious about those products, you can see a link to them down in the description of this video. You can maybe save yourself a little bit of money and you support the channel at the same time. So Leah just went and got her hair cut, apparently, while I was working on a video. And now I'm going to go pick her up and uh, see what this looks like. This is gonna be, uh, this is our first short haircut, I think, since we've been together. Wow. Okay. Hi. Oh, wow. <gasps> they Holy took cow. so much off. I had the best experience ever. It was so great. Damn, that looks wild. You okay. smell so salon-y salon? right now. It's a salon of only old gay men working. Really? It was the best. <laughs> Scissors on Main Street in Santa Monica. Go see Robbie and Sebastian. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. I haven't Holy really had a smokes. chance. Cheers to the new hair. LA as a city to boondock in or visit when you're living in your car or van is incredible because the outdoor public areas here are honestly extremely nice. Maybe we haven't been to some of the sketchier areas, but here in Santa Monica and where we were yesterday, so nice. This is honestly the lunch that we eat probably two to three times a week at least at least just we switch up the different cheeses or vegetables and breads and like that's it <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm personally surprised all the time at how livable and lovely LA is as a visitor. I don't know what it's like to rent, I don't know what it's like to be here for a long time, but so far, LA's very nice to be in. I was like, we could live here. I'm like, I don't think we actually could, but I see what you mean. Theoretically, yes, we could. We could live, live in LA, here. absolutely. Yeah. I feel like I'm still just getting used to your hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's only been 10 minutes. You yeah. can feel it. So last night, we hung out and watched. What would you describe it as? So I think I described it as experimental psychedelic Japanese music. <laughs> but that's, those are my words. <laughs> yeah. um, a genuinely transformative performance that we witnessed. <laughs> um, and now we are just taking some time to do the LA thing. On the beach. <laughs> that's Leah, all I wanted to add. On the beach. <laughs> Look at us doing the LA thing, huh? Look how farmer's market you look. Wow, so oh, wow. farmer's markety. Right? You put Holy. on the hat like, Whenever we ask for recommendations, thankfully all of you give us farmer's market recommendations. But we're here on Redondo Beach Farmer's Market and, uh, you know, gotta get yourself some bread. Look at that. That looks great. That looks really good. That looks good. perfect. Okay, so we okay. have in we the have basket sourdough bread. Our friends recommended getting this grapefruit, it's like heavy. Some strawberries, half a dozen eggs, a zucchini. Look at these tomatoes, and Levi's favorite. Yes. Some homemade pasta. Amazing. Wow. Love farmer's market halls. Right? Look at that how beautiful that is. We are doing a quintessential LA thing today. We're going to a Dodgers game. We don't have any of the paraphernalia, but we're here for the experience. So here in LA, if you want to go to a Dodgers game, you can buy a ticket and then they will give you free parking and free transit to the game, which is actually really cool. So we just parked and uh, we're going to get on this bus, which is a direct route right to the stadium. There it is, Dodger Stadium. <laughs> So oh, steep, holy cow. Oh my god. Look at this. So we made Thank it. Thank you for me. We have our new neighbors. <laughs> uh, is this your first Dodgers game? No, I've been to a few. Oh, okay. Oh, this is our goodness, first Dodgers we game. Have, we don't even really know baseball yeah, now, we, to be honest. Oh, it's your first Dodger game too? And who else's? Show me a pin. Wow. See, look, I, they have pins at the fan. What? We, we don't have a pin. You can go ask for one. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, Some that's fan services. very cool. All right. All right. Look at us learning stuff here. Cheers. The beer experience. This one beer was $15. <laughs> I feel like it's a rite of passage, though. We decided to go with the fries because, uh, well, it was, it honestly looked like it was the best thing there. <laughs> best and cheapest. Sunset. Holy. Don't take this the wrong way, but I didn't expect to like Los Angeles. 
<laughs> Not as much as he liked it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we uh, we had a really great time here. Thank you to the city for having us, for all the people for being so awesome. And all the recommendations for things to do. We've had, had a wonderful, wonderful time. Three days was not enough. We knew yeah. that, but you know, just a little, a little taster, a little teaser. We'll be back for sure. Yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for subscribing and following along. And if you want to see more adventures of us in our Prius, there she is. remember to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone. Today is a very big day. We are crossing the border into Mexico. So badly, but... Well, why do you even I, say well, these I things? I don't know. I'm don't just, say I'm anything! Just... <laughs> I'm Man, sorry. you're tempting fate! No, I know, I, you're right, you're right, you're right, I'm sorry, oh my god.